Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Thanks for joining me as always. We begin with news from our governor and premier as they announced that the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service helicopter has been placed on standby for deployment to assist the Turks and Caicos Islands. That's all following the passage of Hurricane Irma. Now the aircraft was made available following discussions between the governor's office, Cayman Islands government, the crisis center in London and the governor of TCI. It will deploy with a crew of four and will assist with an immediate damage assessment and the movement of key personnel, including potential casualties over the next 24 hours. British troops and engineers held at high readiness in the UK will deploy with helicopters as well to support the relief effort. Furthermore, the Royal Navy has diverted its flagship HMS Ocean to bring the help that will be needed in reconstruction after the hurricanes have passed. Now, the deployment is being coordinated with the crisis team in London and the RAF to ensure all aviation assets are used in the best possible way. Well, as Hurricane uh, Irma impacts the Bahamas and makes its way to South Florida, among other areas this weekend, the po uh, Postal Service here is advising everyone that impact to flights to London and Miami will cause significant disruption to mail services in the Cayman Islands. Consequently, the Postal Service is advising customers to expect delays to mail going out from and coming into the Cayman Islands. Well, tobacco license holders are reminded of the deadline to apply for their annual license renewals by 5 p.m. on Wednesday, the 1st of November. Annual registration renewal fees are $500 for a retailer, $750 for a cigar bar, and $5,000 for a wholesale distributor. For more information, license holders can contact DCI's tobacco administrator, Ms. Simone Morgan at smorgan at gov. Dot KY, or you can call Mrs. Lolita Bodden Arch on 948 2400. Again, that's 948 2400. Finally, if you missed today's news update, you can always go to the Cayman Islands government Facebook page as well as the CIG television uh, YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us this week, wishing you a safe and wonderful weekend from all of us here at CIG TV.